What's up guys, it's TechNewy here. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Untethered Jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1. If you're still on iOS 5, go ahead and update just to be sure. Now this uh, jailbreak only works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation, 4th generation, and I believe the iPad 1st generation. Now all the other devices, the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S, have the A5 chip processor and so the jailbreak will not work for them. Also, if you're running on a baseband, an old baseband to have an unlock, then it's better for you to run on a custom IPSW. I'll post a link to a article which pretty much details on that um, part. Anyway, all links will be in the description, and you're only gonna need Red Snow. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Red Snow. Right-click on Red Snow EXE. Go down to Properties, then go to Compatibility make sure run this program in compatibility mode 4 is checked and what is selected is Windows XP Service Pack 3 then under privilege level make sure it's checked so it says run this program as administrator click apply and then press OK then go ahead and right click again on the exe file and then run as administrator alright you're gonna get your red snow window and now what you're gonna do is select jailbreak now if you're running if you're doing this on top of a tethered jailbreak then you don't need to install Cydia. So when jailbreak is going to tell you to make sure your device is turned off and is plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my iPhone 3GS. All right, once it's turned off, plugged in, everything's okay. You're going to go ahead and start. Make sure you are ready because it's going to start instantly. So we're going to click next and all right, hold down the home uh, power button for three seconds. Hold down the home button for another 10 seconds. So we're going to do that right now. All right, the screen just flickered off. Let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button for another 13 seconds or so. All right, and right now Red Snow should be finishing up the work. Should be exploiting with Lime Rain, uploading the first stage, uploading second stage, waiting for reboot. All right, now it's processing the jailbreak. Of course, if you already uploaded your own IPSW in the extras, then you're you're not gonna get this window. But for now, it's doing this because it did not upload the IPSW. You don't need to worry about it. All right, you can pretty much let go of the home button. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure install city is checked. Now if you're running on a tethered jailbreak and you ran this jailbreak over, then you can simply just uncheck it. And everything else is pretty much normal. You're gonna click next, and then it's gonna be waiting for reboot. And on the iPhone screen, it should be the hard drive with the arrow facing down. So I'm gonna turn off flash, and we're just going to wait for the iPhone to boot up. Let Red Snow finish up. And there we go. Now it's done. So we can go ahead and close out of Red Snow and focus now on the iPhone. Just going to get the white, pretty much white letters. Typical. I hope you guys are having a great holiday weekend. I know I am. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about, but yeah. All right, there we go. Now we get the Joe Break uh, pineapple logo here running. All right, and I guess we should have the Apple logo now. Already four minutes and a half into this video. Doesn't really take that long. So like I said, this only works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation and 3rd generation. Now if you want to consider the newest iPod as the 5th generation, then I guess you can include that. But since the only difference between the 4th generation and the 5th generation is just the white model, then 
I shouldn't, you shouldn't really consider as a new generation. All right, we're at the lock screen right now. All right, and it should be Cydia right there. Hold on, let me just take out of its okay, uh, dock. All right, so we're gonna see there is Cydia. I'm gonna tap on Cydia. It's gonna be preparing the file system. Cydia will exit when complete. So we're just gonna let it finish what it's doing. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. And as for the iPhone 4s and iPad 2 jailbreak, they have been jailbroken, but they're trying to fix some uh, bugs and trying to make it more stable, so that way it'll be it'll have a perfect public release and not any um, any bugs or glitches that could cause harm to the iPhone 4s or iPad 2. I believe Pod 2G is the one working on the iPhone 4s and iPad 2 jailbreak along with. The Chronic team, I believe. Yeah. All right. Storage almost full. You can manage. I don't know why it says it's full. It's completely empty, but okay. I'll just ignore that for now. I'm already six minutes in. You can go ahead and uh, skip this part. I'll probably post an annotation note telling you when to skip forward. But for now, I guess I'll just be talking to you. See you later. Um, and as for the Siri plugin, I know that Hi Siri is not a reliable tweak because it uses proxy servers, but there has been a release by Chapone, which is called Spire, which you can actually legally install Siri, but the only problem is that you have to uh, get your own proxy server, and to do that, you're going to need an iPhone 4S authorization key. Now, the thing is that you can't really... While people can release the authorization key, the more people use it, the more it shows up. So if Apple sees it, they could cut off the authorization key and, and in some way um, pretty much stop people from using it. So you're, you're going to probably need your own personal authorization key from an iPhone 4S. Now for some reason, the screen went black. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the home button and go back into Cydia. Alright, it closed out on me first, so I just went back in. So it's going to be loading and updating database. Okay, downloading packages, down packages, let's go to changes real quick. Everything seems to be working, I don't know why it's taking for it to download the packages, maybe because there's so many people using this jailbreak as of now, so there might be high traffic in Cydia. But the point is we got Cydia running, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the iPhone just to be sure this is an untethered jailbreak and then we're going to turn it back on Come on now. There we go. Put the lock screen. Slide to unlock. If it would let me slide to unlock and not freeze up. There we go. There we go. And yeah, that is the untethered jailbreak for the iPhone and the iPod Touch running on iOS 5.0.1. If you still get that white or blank CD icon, just simply turn it off and turn it back on. But yeah, that's about it guys. If you have any more questions, please post a comment. If you like this video, please rate it up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. I'll have more on this jailbreak, including some top tweaks 
4, iOS 5 later on. And yeah, that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.